Hello. In the following videos, we're going to talk about a new analog integrated circuit building block known as the differential amplifier, sometimes referred to as the diff amp for short. It is an important uh, building block, as I said, in analog integrated circuits, and uh, it typically forms the input stage for all operational amplifiers. Um, before we delve into transistor level, uh, design of differential amplifiers and analysis, we are going to cover some high-level uh, definitions and characteristics of the differential amplifier. So first of all, some characteristics. For the DFM. Uh, the most important one, perhaps, and the one that gives name to the circuit or the building block is that it is an amplifier that amplifies the difference between two input signals. So, amplifies difference. With two input signals, uh, sometimes we also refer to this as it amplifies the differential input signal because since we are using a differential amplifier, uh, the idea is that the input signal itself will be uh, the difference between the signal applied to both inputs of the amplifier. Um, because it is supposed to amplify just the differential part of the signal, uh, if operating properly, the amplifier will suppress any part of the signal that is common to both inputs. Suppresses or eliminates um, the part of signal that's common to both inputs. And then another characteristic um, which is different from the types of amplifiers we have seen so far, is that uh, instead of having a single input, it has two inputs, uh, or we also refer to it as it has a differential input. So the input is differential, two input terminals, and the output uh, can actually be either differential or single-ended. So you may have two output terminals and the output signal is the differential voltage across those two terminals, or you may have a single terminal and that's referred to as a single-ended output. Uh, so the output can be differential. Sometimes to the differential output, we will refer to also as a balanced output or single-ended. And so in its block diagram form, it will look something like this. We have our differential amplifier. Let's imagine a voltage amplifier uh, with a differential gain. We will have two input terminals. We can refer to the input signals as V in one and V in two. And then we can have uh, typically have two output terminals, which I will refer to as V out one and V out two. And uh, one of the output terminals is going to be um, equal to the gain times the differential input, and the other is going to be the complement of that. So negative the gain times the differential input. The differential input, of course, being just the difference V in 1 minus V in 2. And so, one of my output is simply going to be uh, negative the differential gain times VID. The other one is going to be positive the differential gain times VID. If I take the output as balanced, meaning V out minus V1, Let's see, V out 1 minus V2, excuse me. Uh, the result of that is going to be equal to, um, or actually, um, if I do it like this, it'll give me a negative value. So um, just to get a positive value at the output, I'm going to 
take my output backwards from that. So VA2 minus VA1 is going to be uh, 2AD times VAD. So let's imagine that I have a small input signal applied in my input. Uh, to keep things simple, let's imagine that my VA2 um, is just going to be sitting at a, at a DC voltage. So I can represent this by just saying I'm going to have a common mode signal. VICM which doesn't necessarily even have to be a DC value, so I'm just going to more generally represent it like this. It just needs to be common to both inputs. And then a differential signal that appears across um, the two inputs. This will be VID. So basically, uh, V in 1 will be equal to VICM plus VID. V in 2 will be just VICM. So there's part of the signal that's common to both. And then the VID part of the signal is the difference between the two inputs. Um, so this little wiggle there will represent my VID. Let's imagine just the part of the signal that's different between the two inputs. What I will get at my output is in one case uh, V out one, just a negative amplified version of the differential input signal. And on the other side, uh, a non-inverted amplified version of the input signal. So when I add those two together, or subtract V out two minus V out one, rather when I take the differential or balanced output, what I get is going to be something with twice the gain. And again, this is V out two minus V out one. That's V out one. This is V out two. All right. Um, and again, we could take the output in either way. We could take it balanced as the delta or the difference between the two output terminals, or we can take it single ended depending on the amplifier. So this will be an example of. Uh, uh, differential or balanced output. Right here. And um, let's imagine if I took the signal just out of the out two, this would be a single embedded output. And we're going to study the different characteristics uh, that the same version of the differential amplifier will have for the balanced output case and the single-ended output case. Now, another one of the concepts we have uh, just referred to, but not clearly defined, is uh, the concept of common mode input signal versus differential input signal, or more generally, common mode versus differential signal. Uh, the common mode signal is the part of the signal that is common to both terminals. Let's say we're talking about the common mode input signal. It will be the part of the signal that's common to both input terminals. Uh, whereas the differential input signal will be uh, the difference between the two input terminals. For example, let's imagine that my V in 1 is equal to V in 2. In that particular case, uh, since both signals are equal to each other, all of the signal is common mode signal. There is no differential signal. So in this particular case, my VICM or common mode input signal is just going to be equal to uh, V in 1 or V in 2. They're both the same. And my differential input signal is going to be the delta of the 2 in 2 minus V in 1, which is just equal to 0 or V in 1 minus V in 2. Uh, depending on, I'm going to go ahead and just say V in 1 minus V in 2, since that's um, what I did up in my block diagram. Uh, let's look at another example. Let's imagine that um, 
V in one is equal to ten micro volts and V in two is equal to negative ten micro volts. Well, in this case, we typically uh, say the common mode portion of the signal is uh, the the middle point or the um, the average of the two input signals, which in this case is going to be equal to zero. So V in one plus V in two divided by two. Zero for the common mode input signal, and the signal is completely differential. Um, the differential signal will be V in one minus V in two, which is twenty microvolts. So these are two extreme cases. Um, one case where the differential signal was equal to zero and the second case where the common mode signal was equal to zero and all of the signal was differential. In most cases, or in the most general case, we're going to encounter uh, signals that have a bit of both. Some part is common mode signal, some part is differential signal. So in the most general case, let's imagine the example where V in one is equal to, uh, say, 30 microvolts. And V in 2 is equal to 10 microvolts. But in this case, my common mode signal is going to be uh, 30 plus 10 divided by 2, or 20 microvolts, which is the middle point between the two uh, values, and my differential signal will be V in 1 minus V in 2, which is exactly the same as in the previous example, uh, 20 microvolts. So basically the same differential signal just shifted uh, by a DC offset, if you will, of 20 microvolts. So both uh, inputs have been shifted with respect to the previous example um, by, by 20 microvolts, and that becomes the common mode signal. Whenever we are using a differential amplifier, uh, we are trying to amplify a differential input signal. And because of that, sometimes instead of referring to these as uh, the common mode signal and the differential signal, you will see that we refer to the common mode signal as the noise and the differential signal as the signal. Uh, because the differential signal is what we are trying to amplify and the common mode signal is what we are trying to get rid of or suppress. That's why we call it the noise. It's not part of our, um, of our signal of interest. Now, um, I also want to talk about the importance of this circuit in terms of um, what characteristics make it an ideal circuit for certain applications. We're going to talk about that in the next video. Thank you.